I've had uh, a lot of roles at Washington University. Uh, when I first came, I thought I was going to be, you know, sort of focusing on my research and writing. And I think I was here about a year and I was asked to chair the Department of History. So I spent five years doing that and then the center directorship opened up. And so when that um, came open, I applied and I got that position. And so for eight and a half years, then I directed this, the Center for the Humanities. It's an interdisciplinary sort of research and teaching center that brings all of the humanities uh, together. I mean, for me, the center uh, has been the place where I found kind of a new, a new me. Because it's a center, you know, I've engaged so many people that if I were sitting over in history teaching African history, I would never have met most of them. I just was really inspired all the time by how Jean was able to navigate a million different things and make it look effortless. Her ability to really be an innovator while being incredibly pragmatic and strategic um, was really important for me in learning how to do the kind of public humanities work that I'm interested in doing. Now that I've stepped down, my appointment is 100% in African and African American studies. Some of the work that I've been able to do here has reconnected me to this city and helped me think about new ways of being in this city and to be a part of uh, struggles to make this town a better place to live. She's a wonderful scholar, but I do think that she models the public humanities in a way that not only at WashU, but institutions around the country look to as doing really innovative things. And I hope that the university um, still remembers the lesson she taught us in her time here. It's cool whenever your you know, work that you've done is, is recognized by your colleagues, that's like the, the biggest sort of compliment um, that you can get. The fact that it's generated you know, by colleagues um, means, means an awful lot.